Okay, God bless y'all. My name is Jonathan K. I want to share this video uh, with you all. And this one will be about how I had a dream a while back. I was with my brother in Christ and a few others. And now I don't have a date for this, but I'm just going to share this because this is something that I really want to share. And I'm going to expound on it after I share it. And so what happened was I was in a jungle. And this jungle appeared to be Africa. Now, it didn't appear the way it may appear in your mind because it was at night, it was dark, it had, um, it just had a different look to it. As if it was only a look that you could get from a dream, not a look that you can actually see in Africa. Um, kind of like something that would be on a stage in a theater, okay? Um, but this was nevertheless a jungle and I was like walking through like a field and this field had like you know like grass and stuff and like I was I opened up you know like the I mean not grass but like um what do you call it big old like branches or something you know what I'm saying not branches I don't know, just huge, like, jungle plants in the way, okay, and I'm just moving it, I moved it, you know what I'm saying, my brother was with me and stuff like that, my baby behind me and stuff, and like, we came upon this land, and when we came upon this land, actually, you know what, we even, came, we was like, even near water, like, I think we was walking through water, not on, through, and so, uh, as, uh, as, uh, I looked up, there was like a little hill, okay, and I noticed a bunch of naked African women and men, and they were just dancing, and you know, they were just, you know, doing their little ritual, African ritual stuff, and um, and I started to preach against them, and I started to rebuke them in the name of Jesus, um, Yahashua, who was the true Lord who has the covenant. Uh, with all those who believe and I told them that they're pagans I said this is pagan I said this is paganism this is this is pagan you guys uh, you don't know God okay I was letting them know on uh, loudly I was preaching against I was like they don't know God I was like it doesn't matter if you're black and if you know about your heritage and your roots and you know all this little stuff that you want to hold on to and hang on to you don't have the covenant you don't have favor with God you understand that's how I was preaching you don't have the covenant you don't have favor with God I said he only has a covenant with Israel that's what I said I didn't say Jesus of course we know it's with Jesus but I was saying in the dream that the only nation who has the covenant with God is Israel and that's what I was saying to them because they were a nation of people and I was coming down on them with strong righteous indignation and I was you know because they because you know I don't know why I guess because they I guess they believed that they were okay and you know and they had their little you know little like voodoo type looking stuff and I was saying this you know and um and so I just wanted to share that because uh, I wrote it down, but I don't. I I got so much stuff written down; it'd be hard for me to probably find it because I gotta read intently everything, and it's from one of my old books. But the reason why I wanted to share this with y'all is because if you're born again, and you're you know you're walking with the Lord Jesus, okay. The culture that we're under is the culture of the kingdom of God, okay the Christian culture you understand we're not really under any other culture now I know you're African I know you're black I know you're um, the Chinese I know you're Japanese I know you're Caucasian European Caucasians you know I know you you know people in Poland uh, you know Italians they have their own little thing uh, you know um, whatever Egyptians Puerto Ricans uh, Somalians, Yugoslavians, the list goes on. 
You're, you can be from Bombay, India. Okay, you can be from Russia. That doesn't take away from my point. When we start to hold on, see, when we hold on to the heritage that is of paganism that comes with our nation, we're still holding on to the things of Satan. I'll give you a prime example. If anybody in my family has African mask, okay, which often refer to, you know, these things, these little African masks, some of them are like, you know, f f used in voodoo to scare off demons and stuff like that. No, no, that's not of us, that's of paganism, okay, um, stuff like, okay, Santeria, okay, uh, which was witchcraft mixed with Catholicism, okay, um, I had brothers in Christ, okay, I'm not gonna even call them a brother, but I had people who fellowshiped with the church who still practice Santeria, okay, Puerto Ricans, I know a Puerto Rican man, he still practice Santeria, okay, um, these are the same people who like, you know, they cut pigeons and pour their blood on them and call it a cleansing and they blow smoke. I'm saying I had a, another Puerto Rican Christian brother who explained it to me because when he was in the streets and stuff, they would, you know, this, these cultures are kind of mixed up because I know I, I'm from D.C. It's mostly black people and, you know, they, you know, mo most of us, we don't know about this kind of stuff, but like, you know, in New York, it's pretty thick. It's pretty heavy because you got a lot of different cultures in New Jersey and stuff like that. Like, you know, people, 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 like these Puerto Ricans, Haitians, like, I'm saying, um, Dominicans, like, they're doing stuff like this, okay? They, they practice in Santeria, you know what I'm saying? Um, I even saw, like, a gang member, he was a blood from New York, you know what I'm saying? Um, when I was in prison, you know what I'm saying? He was doing Santeria. Uh, I saw it on the video because we had to share... Um, our sanctuary in prison with other religions, with the Nation of Islam, with Wiccans, with you know different, many different sects, Catholic, Catholics, uh, you know Jehovah Witness. We had to all share our sanctuary, okay. And so um, one day, because I worked in the sanctuary also when I was in prison, and. Um, I bless God for that job back then, but um, it was just a favorite guy about my um, my chaplain, the chaplain, you know what I'm saying, he got me the job working with him, and when I was working with him, you know, he pulled me inside of his office often, he was like, hey Jonathan, look at this, you know, I had a lot of favor with the chaplain, you know what I'm saying, he had a grandson named Jonathan, and so I don't know, if he was an older guy, older white guy, he looked like Colonel Sanders, said he was just a little overweight he was my first pastor and I think he's really my first true pastor because you know yeah and anyway um you know he had the gift of discernment for of demons and um he would tell me like Jonathan come in here look at this and I'd stop sweeping or mopping and I'd go in there and I'd look and see what he got me to look at and they see you know I'm in there we look and he like look and we look because he can see the video cameras because of the nation of Islam and the Muslims because of the fact that you know they're a threat to society um and they plot and scheme and stuff like that that's why they had cameras in the sanctuary and so um I'm seeing these dudes like humping the ground who practice in South Adia. you know what I'm saying and I'm like wow what is he doing he like the worshiping demons like they're, they're taken by spirits and these are regular blood gang members like people who throwing up gang sets you know what I'm saying? Like, that was something that was out of my mind, like out of the norm to me. I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's like picturing Snoop Doggy Dog, like, being taken over by demons humping the ground. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, but you know, you got these black people who look like they're black, but they're really like Puerto Rican and stuff, and they still game banging and stuff. And it's like, this is all one, this is what they do. Well, what I'm saying is, like, when you hold on to the heritage, see, he thinks, okay, because I'm black, Puerto Rican type thing, and I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold on to this heritage, okay? 
you got people who was Christians, called call themselves Christians. They were holding on to this so-called heritage of paganism. Okay, um, and that's why I'm sharing that with you. Uh, um, you know, um, people holding on to blackness. You know what I'm saying? I had a dream that I already gave y'all. It's, it's Christ divided. Okay, because in this church, uh, I see, you know, a big image of Jesus. Okay, on the on the um, it's a big mural of Jesus at this church. I know. My, my my family member goes to this church, and they have a big, huge image of Jesus. He's all black. He looks like Lionel Richie. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is black. He got all types of um at the, at the communion table. They got you know um uh you know all types of people like Harry Tubman. She got the shotgun. This is behind him when he preaches on the microphone. Um, it's a big mural on the wall, you know what I'm saying, it's like, it's like if you were to see this mural right here, you know what I'm saying, on this wall right here as I'm preaching, it's like that, and um, you know, this is what, this is what, this is what, it's like, this is what he's enduring, I mean, this is what, you know, not enduring, but this is what the Lord is enduring, having to be put through this, because then they got pictures of like, the Pharaoh, you know, I don't like, Pharaoh was the enemy of God, that's like putting Hitler in a synagogue, with his face, you know, and um, you know they got the snake come out his chin, and and then you know they got pictures of uh of the communion table. They got pictures, like I said, of Harriet Tubman, Rosa Parks, um, Martin Luther King. They got uh uh Farrakhan. They got uh you know um what's the guy's name? Elijah Muhammad. I mean, what's the guy? He was the father of Rastafarians. Uh. Marcus Garvey, I mean, come on, man, that stuff is not of God. Okay, Rastafarians, they believe in cleansing through smoking weed and all that crap. I don't know the details, I'm just saying, like, you know, that stuff is garbage, okay? And, uh, you know, I mean, we cannot bring this into the body of Christ, okay? It's the same thing what the Corinthians try to do. It's the same thing what people try to do in the Bible. They try to bring their pagan paganism into the body of Christ, you know what I'm saying? Even, even, even Jesus used the Apostle Paul to rebuke um, Peter and the disciples for holding on to the law. Okay? They were still holding on to circumcision. Like, no, you have to be circumcised to be born again. Like, no, that's the law. What are you talking about? We've been redeemed from the law. We've been redeemed from the curse of the law. Okay? The law had a curse with it, okay? The law did not bring, Christ brings life. The law brought death. It, show, it pointed you to your sins. You understand? Christ pointed you to life and life more abundantly. You understand? He came to fulfill it. Okay? See, com he was the completion of the law. And now, we are under the dispensation of Christ. The dispensation of the grace of Christ. Not the law of Moses. Okay? And so, you know, that, that even hardened God's heart. When he saw how Peter and them were so hard-hearted towards, excuse me, it didn't harden God's heart, but it, it angered God. Excuse me, Father, sorry, I apologize. But it angered God. It gave God um, an anger because he's like, you know, don't, don't call common what I've made holy or what I've cleansed. You understand? God has cleansed the Gentiles. See, that's what he was doing. Okay, these pagan people, because Gentile means pagan, but these people were converting. He's saying, I'm cleansing these people. Okay, because every nation was a pagan. Every nation was a Gentile. If you were not is of Israel, so I'm saying all that to listen. Say this: If y'all still holding on all this paganism, all this, you know, and when I say paganism, you might think that it's not paganism, but like if you got these pictures of like. Like say if you're Native American, for example, I have Native American in me. Okay, you can see my nose. I got Native American in me. Okay, so you got family members in my house. Okay, or, or, or my family members' house. They got pictures of like you know, the feathers and the and the little drums, the feathers. That stuff is not after Jesus. You understand? We have to like come on, because you know I got Native American on my father's, on my mother's side. You know what I'm saying? That stuff is not after Jesus. That's not in the order of Jesus. It has nothing to do with Jesus. These guys got paint on their face. 
what I'm saying? And they and they're doing, you know, these battle cries and all that stuff. Let it go. Just be happy being who you are. Okay, you're a Native American, good for you. Now be happy being a Native American for Jesus. Okay? Um if you're African American, you can't hold on to like stuff like uh you know your heritage of 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 Liberia and what they were doing in Nigeria and you know what they were doing in you know uh, uh, Angola. <laughs> Let it go, okay? Let it go. It's over. You understand? You've been redeemed, okay? You've been washed. Don't pick up those. Don't pick up those satanic rituals that you look at as artwork. Okay, you might have a picture of something. You're like, wow, it's pretty. It's really, you know, authentic. No, it's no, it's not. Okay, don't be foolish. It's not. It's authentically evil, yes. But it has. What does it have to do with Jesus? Okay, it has nothing to do with Jesus. Now, I understand if you got a picture of mountains and flowers and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. But when you start to bring culture and you know this heritage stuff that is of ungodliness, I'm not talking about if you're Italian and you got a bowl of spaghetti. And just a picture of a bowl of spaghetti with a fork in it. I'm not here to be beach, beating people up. I'm talking about stuff that has to deal with okay. If you're Italian and or or, or if you're uh you know uh you know you 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 come from like northern Europe and you're holding on to like you know the Vikings or the dark ages of like the medieval times and you holding on to stuff like that those people operate out of witchcraft those people were merchants those people were like were, were mat magicians and stuff like that okay for you European people in Christ okay like we don't hold on to none of that stuff it's all dung I don't care who you are I don't care what you follow as far as your heritage I mean what you come from I don't care if you're Native oh, excuse me Indian East Indian and you no, that little uh, that little female with the uh, the elephant head and the you know the eight different arms. That stuff. If you got that stuff in your house, you need to repent, okay? Because demons can attach themselves to things like that. They're thankful that you're still still holding on. They're thankful, okay? Matter of fact, they want to whisper some eastern some eastern remedies in your ear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They love for you to uh, entertain Easternism or whatever they want to call it you know what I'm saying Eastern God practices Eastern practices you know what I'm saying foreign gods you know we gotta let it go we gotta let it go okay you know I don't care who you are where you're from let it go okay if you're Mexican necromancy let it go okay if you if 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 all the part that you know concerning the parts of Israel, if all you knew was uh, Christianity and all your family knew was Christianity, but they still had, held on to the early terms of what Christianity was was uh, becoming and forming, which was still holding on to Zeus or still holding on to you know because there was Christians still holding on to that. It's even in Catholicism they held on to. Uh, Man, what do they hold on to? They held on to Fatima, okay? They held on to Athea, Athena, all this stuff. And they still wanted to claim to be Christians, just just the same way the Africans wanted to claim to be Christians, but they held on to Catholicism and all that kind of crazy stuff. First of all, Catholicism is false, but you know what I'm saying? They try to do a mixture and a blend. It's no blend, okay? What does Christ have to do with Bilal? Okay, what does light have to do with darkness? Let it go. You see the Jesus in the Word that you have. It's nothing else, okay? Even the even the other books that I have, they don't talk about, they don't preach another gospel, okay? So, I just want to encourage y'all to really recognize, okay? Maybe I might need to get rid of this little, um, this wishbone, you know? Have a little wishbone, a Native American wishbone. Or I have, you know, a, a um, a, a, a wish catcher. I don't know what they call them things. You know what I'm saying? Them little wind catchers. You know, you know, all that little stuff is garbage. You know what I'm saying? It's garbage. It matters none. It profits none. Christmas, all that stuff. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's pagan. Paganism slipped into the body of Christ, y'all. It slipped into the body of Christ. 
okay? It's already in our, our country. And we say that this country is a Christian nation. It's not a Christian nation. It was never founded on Christianity. It was founded on Freemasonry, okay? It was founded on Freemasonry, you understand? The obelisk, Freemasonry, okay? You go to, you go to, um, you know, uh, you go to, uh, South America, and you see that, that, that thing that looks like a, um, a pyramid? That's still that whole Illuminati spirit, you understand? It's all one God. It's the God of this world. The God of this world, in my dream, when I was telling them, repent, because they were half naked dancing, they were naked dancing. God doesn't want us naked. See, people act like, oh, you know, no, you know, they, maybe they're just naked in their country. No, God wants us to be clothed. You can't get away with it. You know what I'm saying? You cannot get away with it. Okay? And I want to read y'all this scripture real quick. Um, I want to read y'all this scripture. Luke 14. Okay, it says right here, it says, Ah. Hold on. No, sorry, that's Luke 12, Luke 14. Okay. Hold up. No, it is Luke 12. Man, oh man, I can't find it. Okay, here it is. And the servant who knew his master's will and did not prepare himself or do according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. But he who did not know yet committed things deserving of stripes shall be beaten with few. For everyone to whom much is given from him much will be required and to whom much has been committed of him they will ask the more so hear this this is for those who you want to say well you know what if they didn't know Christ maybe they didn't know it says right here but he who did not know yet committed things deserving of stripes this is Luke 12 48 but he who did not know yet committed things deserving of stripes shall be beaten with few there's different levels in hell. That means they go to a level in hell that is less as intense as people who go to a level of hell who knew the master's will and still did things worthy of stripes. But hell is bad, period. And you don't want to go to any part because it's all eternal. You'll never get a break. You'll, you'll, you know, it's all um, horrific. Okay. It's all the lake of fire. It's all it all will be thrown into the lake of fire. So you know, if you want to be in the letter the nicer part of Lake of Fire compared to the deeper, you know, part of Lake of Fire, that's not wise. Okay. So it says, But he who did not know yet committed things deserving of sharks shall be beaten with few. For everyone to whom much is given, much will be required. Okay, so it also says in Romans one, Amen. I'm going to read Romans 1 because the Lord told me before that we all know him. Um, it says right here, it says, uh, uh, let's see. It says, for since the creation of the world, his invincible, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse he's not going to give you an excuse okay so by the things that we can see we know that there is one who we cannot see who created them just like if you were to see an illustration of a picture but the artist isn't right there saying I drew this you know someone's responsible so so you know, that ends that discussion but anyway I bless God and I hope that this helps somebody to start to look at the things that they have in their house and say, you know what, let me trash this. To start to look at things that they have, you know, in their grandmother's house or their mother's house and say, you know what, we really don't need this here. Um, God spoke through a brother of mine and he was letting us know that, listen, God showed us that this stuff is wicked. Okay. Um, I had dreams where God showed me that. You know, Satan attaches himself 
two things. So be careful about these objects that you have. Um, I, I bless God for Perry Stone. He made a powerful study about being careful when you come back from out of town with foreign things that could have been sacrificed to demons unaware and you're knowing. Um, I had a dream that I saw like a, a doll, a hobbit doll. That thing was demonic, okay? So if a doll can be demonic and it was just a doll, how much more can, you know, things that are sacrificed, you know what I mean? So anyway, bless y'all.